Newcastle United made their long-awaited return to the Champions League after 20 years, and while their performance may not have been the most impressive, they managed to secure a valuable point away from home. It was a reality check for the team, a reminder of the level of competition they will face in Europe's top club tournament. The Magpies displayed determination and resilience throughout the match. Their defensive players, such as goalkeeper Nick Pope and defenders Kieran Trippier, Sven Botman, and Fabian Schaar, stood out as the team's strongest performers. However, their attacking players and midfielders, including Sandro Tonelli and Bruno Gamares, failed to make a significant impact. This was a tough evening for Newcastle, a harsh introduction to the challenges of facing one of European football's historic clubs. It was like the first day of high school, where the bigger, more experienced players rough you up and tease you. But despite the difficulties, Newcastle not only survived but also managed to come away with a result that is more beneficial for them than for AC Milan. Manager Eddie Howe acknowledged the need for improvement in their attacking play but chose to focus on the positives of their defensive performance. He sees this as a valuable learning experience for the team and believes they will be better after this. Although Newcastle were outplayed and outmaneuvered by AC Milan, they were not outfought. Their ability to frustrate the Italian side, combined with some poor finishing from Milan, allowed them to escape with a draw. However, they cannot afford to play this poorly again in the competition, as other teams will surely capitalize on their mistakes. Goalkeeper Nick Pope was the standout performer, making several excellent saves to keep Newcastle in the game. AC Milan had numerous opportunities to score, but their finishing let them down. Newcastle's defensive resilience and AC Milan's wastefulness prevented a defeat for the Magpies. Newcastle's midfield, particularly Sandro Tonelli, struggled to make an impact. Tonelli seemed either overwhelmed by the emotions of playing against his former club or unsure of his role in the team. Overall, it was a sobering experience for Newcastle, but one they survived and can learn from. Their attacking play was lacking, but their defensive effort cannot be criticized. Returning to the Champions League and securing a point is a positive outcome for a club that was fighting against relegation just a year and a half ago. As the dust settles, Newcastle will reflect on this match and use it as motivation to improve. The road ahead will be challenging, but they have already shown that they can compete at this level. The next chapter of their European adventure awaits, and they will be eager to continue making progress.